Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about a couple of things actually. We had the president's comments yesterday about the stimulus check not being enough. I, I agree with him 100% on that. He would like to see it up to $2,000 per person as well as $4,000 for a couple. Now that is interesting. We'll see what happens with that, but that is going to affect the, the market a little bit. Anytime there is uncertainty, we know there's gonna be some red, but also I wanna talk about the SBE switchback energy and the charge point merger, as well as where I see NEO and basically the EV industry. Are we done with the EV crash? We saw a pullback yesterday, so stick around. I think you're gonna like what I got for you. Hi everyone, I'm Stock Mo. For those that don't know, I'm an old broker and financial advisor. Now comes on here and just does what he does here. I'll soon after today, officially, I will be an old teacher. And because today is my last official day of teaching after whew, many, many years of teaching. So it's been a fun ride. And but now the, the, the path has led us to here to try to help more than just a small classroom, but a large audience. And I do appreciate everybody here who comes and supports the channel. And that is a big, big thing for me. If you would like to support the channel, I do have a link down below. It goes to a Patreon. For those that don't know, it's how you can support the channel. And what you get for that is you get to see all my stock portfolios I have, I have over there. You can join our private Discord room where we have tons and tons of great channels to talk stocks all day long. And we have some good stuff there and it helps us support everything. I'll be starting a brand new portfolio. It's a high growth portfolio, but it's a little different. I have one over there now with over 40 stocks. I'm going to start when it only has up to 20 stocks as well as I'm going to do a little penny stock one just for fun. Nothing big, a little small one, but the, the $100,000 one is going to be fun. And I got another side one I'm working on for another $100,000. you are going to be able to follow over there. So good stuff. I also have a link down below for the Weeble. Don't forget to get your four free stocks. They have it in the month of December. You get four free stocks. Two of them are up to $2.50 up to $250. Two of them are $8 up to $1,600. You get a guaranteed $21. Put $100 in. You get the $21. You, get, you definitely get up more than that because I know some people already wrote me they got over $100 stock for free, which is awesome. And I got over a $1,000 one once. And I get one free stock because I am an uh, affiliate and I appreciate that. And now, with that being said, everything we do here is for entertainment purposes only. I'm no longer licensed. That was a long time ago. And, but I am here to try to help and just entertain you and show you what I'm doing with my money and where I'm investing it. And yes, I do try to do good things uh, with it. And you can see, if you go into my channel and check the Who Is Stock Mo, you can see all the good things I've done in the investing arena, if you will, and uh, why I'm carrying it on here onto uh, YouTube to try to help people. So let's get into today. What happened last night? Uh, yes, I should say yesterday, last night, President Trump came out and did, he demanded that the checks, which are, he said the 600, you know, just doesn't do it. I agree with him. Very interesting. Uh, he came out and we'll see what happens to that. I've read both sides saying they, uh, they could probably get this up and I wouldn't be surprised to see it get up, you know, from up to 600, up to 1200, even 2000. And we'll see what happens. And then I had other articles I was reading from other sides of the, the coin saying that, you know, nothing's going to end up happening with this. The $600 checks will stay $600 and it will most likely get signed just because there's so much need out there. So we'll see where this is going. I think that, you know, I looked at some of the markets uh, when I was making this video, the pre-markets, if you will, and the, the, the markets are open overseas, they were green. Then I checked the pre-markets for the US and they were red, not bad, 0.3, 0.4% down. But I think with this posturing we have going out there with all, you know, all the different sides, you know, it's going to cause some uncertainty and therefore uncertainty equals red in the market and equals sale prices for us. So if you're watching this and you're wondering, hey, wonder what Mo thinks of this, I'm thinking it is an opportunity to buy some stock during these red times because I think as soon as they sign this, all that uncertainty goes away and then you're going to have the market just rebound nicely. So I'm looking at this as an opportunity to buy today and take advantage of these reds if they end up red. And we'll go from there because, you know, you don't you don't see many opportunities where the market is pushed down by things you can see right in front of you. You know what's going on. You know it's going to be temporary. And as soon as that temporary block goes away, the market should rebound. This is one of them opportunities. It's not a big red day, but it does give us a chance to get some sale prices on some stocks that we have our eyes on. 
So I'll be looking into, into doing that and taking care of that. Now let's get into the, the two stocks. I, the, the next little thing I wanted to do, because I don't want to keep it like I did my penny stock last night. I was trying to make that 10 minutes and I'm 18. So I got to switch back here. I, I'm going to talk about a couple things here. Switch back energy. Uh, a lot of people thought they were going to go December 15th, have that merger. Obviously, they did not. From what I am reading now is that the merger will happen sometime between now and January 15th and a date in there somewhere. Uh, we, you know, these things can be postponed. For those who file the LCA merger, that is one example of these just being postponed a little bit. Not a big deal. I feel great about SBE merging with uh, ChargePoint and what they're going to do. I want to talk a little bit about ChargePoint. When we look at this, I have ChargePoint in there, founded in 2007, for those who don't know. And I have discussed this many a times that they have over, they are one of the leaders in the EV charging industry. They have over 115,000 charging stations in over 14 different countries. And that is one of the reasons I like them, because they are the biggest in the industry when it comes to having these these charging units out there. And I think they're gonna to continue to grow and just dominate this industry post merger. And so I wanna get in there before uh, they go public, if you will, by the, 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 the SPAC route of merging with uh, SBE. So this is what I like with that and that's where I see it. But an interesting thing, they have a new SPAC coming out. It's called Switchback 2 Corporation. For those that don't know, I don't know if you guys are out there studying the newest SPACs that are coming out. And this SPAC, is, they're, they're raising 250 million and it is an energy tech hopes to reduce emissions. Sounds a little bit familiar with me. And so they're coming out with Switchback, uh, Switchback 2 Corporation which is something I'll be keeping my eye on because you know I'm into this field and I'm watching that. They have quite a few, I have quite a few SPACs that are just coming out right now written down on my list. So if you like these, you want to get a hold of them before they actually announce mergers and stuff like that, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be listing them off here slowly but surely and showing you a little bit once in a while of the new ones coming out before they announce anything big and give you an idea, you know, do you want to go into it before they even tell you who they're going to be merging with or do you want to wait until then it, it's an interesting thing because you know you have companies saying we'll go this is an example but it, you know this is a debate i've been having with some people if they come out and say we're raising 250 million any any spac just a brand new one we'll call it stock most spac and it says i'm raising 250 million because i'm going to go out there these are worth ten dollars a share and I'm going to, I'm try, trying to find a company to do a, a merger with that is cleaning up the environment with the, like this says, energy tech that I want to reduce emissions and vehicles. I want to do something good. If that is my idea out there, do you buy in or do you wait? And because I am starting to see more and more people starting to buy into these before they even have a merger on the plate that they're out there just trying to find somebody to merge with. But I'm finding these companies getting their stocks run up. They'll say 10 bucks to start. And then that day it's already popping up, you know, 40, 50% the day they go on and they don't even have anybody with them. So it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. You know, you're kind of, you're kind of investing and putting it into the management. And some of these managements have been around. I, I've been reading about them, very good management. And I'm interested in that. So I, I would like to take, get somebody, get some of your take on this, on some of these pre uh, merger SPACs out there, if you will, before they even announce the merger, put it in the comments because I'm actually curious to see which ones you think are going to have the biggest move moving forward because I want to do a video on SPACs that have not announced mergers, but we think they're going to be big players in the game and because uh, you can usually tell where, who's running those. So something to think about. Now, Neo, on the other hand, like I said, switch, switch back. Let's just finish this up. I have this chart right here. I remember uh, a lot of people asked me when it got down, it was right in here, 32, 33. Asked me if, I, you know, are you getting out? Are you cutting positions? I can tell you right now, I did not. And I, I like this stock and I told you this is one I'm gonna hold. Tesla is one I'm gonna hold. This is one I'm gonna hold. I enjoy it, I like it, I know what they're about. It's the leader. And yes, it, it got run up obviously. And I read the reports of the fundamentals, but I think this is gonna change drastically with the Biden administration. I've been hearing increase in tax credits possibly. Uh, there's all kinds of things that I've been hearing out there and I like it all. Everything I've been hearing has been very positive for the EV industry. And that makes me more excited for this. And I think that is why it's popping because I think the big people that have the big money are hearing the same thing I'm hearing. And now this got run up, you know, when everybody was jumping out, got down in the 30s, you know, it was all the way up to 40 something, back down to 32, 
you know, that was a huge drop. That was like 30% drop. You're losing a lot of money there. And the next thing you know, it's back up to 46 at new highs. And that is an incredible increase. And I did think it would retest that, but it went right by it, which is good news. And that's where I see it at. And does it go higher from here? I think there is a possibility of that, and we will see how that plays out. I am in it for the long term, and I'm feeling good about it. So I do think, um, you know, I will tell you personally, I put my daughter in this. She uh, saved up. She worked at Target, saved up a lot of money, put all her money into this. I went. She wanted to go very high risk. She said she takes after her old man, and uh, we ended up. I put in uh, about 25% of her money just in SBE back in the day, and I'm happy to say she's up 152% on that. So she's tickled pink and said, "Boy, work, you know, making money in the stock market's a lot better than working uh, every day out there for a, a company every day." And I said, "Yeah, that's the idea. Invest your money, get financial freedom, and move on from there." So, and over there, of course, at our Patreon, we are in there. We're up over 170%. Uh, on the uh, on switchback, which I'm very happy about. And for those who follow, hopefully that was a long time ago. So there's a lot of the younger patrons over there. I appreciate it. Hopefully you were along with the ride with that. Now, the next thing, of course, is my NEO. And I just kind of, it's not just NEO in general, but uh, I should say it's the EV industry because a lot of people said, hey, is this EV stock market crash? Is the EV market crash over or is it restarting? You know, because we did, and I always say, you know, we had a lot of profit here and there's big companies out there and the market's been a little bit tough. But look, one, two, three, four, five, six straight days with good green growth. And of course, we finally had a red day. That to me, after six straight days of growth, you're going to have a little bit of. Um, profit taken from some of the bigger investors out there and that's just natural you don't usually see just green 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 you're going to have a few red days there is some uncertainty with them at the market i'm not going to be surprised today if we end with a little bit of red but then if they come out and announce that they can get some kind of agreement that this bill is going to get passed and, and a stimulus i should say and everything's good i'm not going to be surprised to see that market pop i think right now the only reason it's red is because of that issues there and we just got to just sit back see what happens and see where this goes. So at this point, I like what I got. I am going to be adding NEO to my new $100,000 portfolio. I'm gonna buy 20 stocks at 5K a pop. This is gonna be one of them. This is gonna be my first one. I'm not sure when I'm gonna pull that trigger, but between now and January 4th, uh, I would, uh, in those dates somewhere, I'll be buying my first share of this and seeing where we go, because I love NEO. I think NEO is gonna be big. And you know, like I said, you can hear Tesla Cat out there hearing me say that, you know, he's agreeing with me right now. So we got good things going on and that is my update. So all I ask, make sure you get those four free stocks from Weeble because it is for December. I don't know what gonna, they're gonna have for January, but that's a great deal. Put a hundred bucks in, you could get $3,700 in free stock. And come over and join me at the Patreon. It's a good way to support it. Join us at the Discord. You get a private Discord attached with being a member there. It's fantastic. So thank you. You can hear Tesla Cat saying thank you. We both appreciate it. Now let's get out there and make some money.